everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coasting and a trip to one of my most bucket list places. Yes, today we are over here at Fantasia Land for our first ever time. Home to so many iconic rides, Taron, Fly, Bat Mamba as well as Chappas the was a fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just a stunning park already and we've just entered in. So I'm 10 o'clock right now, I'm making our way down towards Taron, but already blown away we've got a little european roadshow going right on right now and this is our first park of that trip but adam you're excited honestly it's been years it and years and years of waiting to come to this place and finally about to step inside of Klugheim, probably one of the best themed yeah. areas in the entire world it's just incredible because this park is not easy to get to by any means it's no, very expensive it, by yes. but i can't miss like a five or six hour drive to go over well, here yeah. but Getting here, walking through the centres right now, and actually here's the queue. All right, this is the queue for the boomerang, I guess. Yeah, that's right. boomerang, and walking into here, seeing all of this, oh, it's just so well themed. All these parks where you always look at and go, oh, it's oh, we're gonna go there. Oh, that looks so so awesome. It's very very busy currently. It's the start of the day, but looking at the queue times in the past, it's like it gets very busy at the start and then caution's out. Yeah. However. Adam, we are standing here in one of the best food areas in the world. Honestly. One of the best food areas, but also so many of them at this park. Yeah. I mean, like, even to be like little steps go down here, it's just the soundtrack. Oh, it's just brilliant. I don't want to stop filming with you guys because there's so much going on here. But if you do enjoy this video today, I want to see more just like over here. Launch. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, but oh my god. Oh, so okay, cool. All these little poppies getting submerged in the area. Oh, absolutely incredible. If you do enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. But no we are now making our way over towards our first attraction of the day with only a half an hour queue. Yes, yes. we are now making That's our way Taran. over towards Taron. Oh, look at this go round. Oh my god, guys, this is bonkers. Look at this. Taron over here, Fantasia. I don't know where to film, it's so much going on all the time. Oh, let's go there. just done Taron and probably just behind one of the most themed toilets I've ever been into too. That is incredible. What an attraction. Incredibly well themed and all around wow, yeah. just phenomenal. It was incredible. Right. Every part of it. Every part. Literally. On it. On right. the stage, before we go on it, we waited around half an hour and the queue for it does go back to a massive cattle pen but the operations are yeah, so smooth. Part. It's unreal. Four trains. Send Four trains. Out. Send them out. Unreal. Like, often on those stages. But also, right. when you go on it, Expect to be a family thrill coaster yes. with top notch theme. That's what you want to say. If you go on and spend a thrill coaster, you want to be impressed. If you go on expecting a family thrill, so it's really fun, really enjoyable, no big inversions, no giant drops, two lots of things amazing, but overall, it is a really, really good ride. Be, be prepared for it to be a family thrill because that is what it is. But overall, fantastic. Every little thing, even here, look at that. I mean, that's hand clean with that feeling here. Absolutely amazing. Everything about it is so, so awesome. But you know what, I mean Taron, like, yeah. it was the coaster we wanted to ride for many, many years now. I'm back in 2016 with, of course, the wonderful video of Quick Climber. You know what, just getting on there. As you said, it is a family thrill coaster. It's got no inversions, it's not very tall, but you know what, that second launch, wow, that is incredible. And the airtime's great. In my opinion, a top five, maybe top three coaster. We'll have to see later on if it gets yeah. more rides. But exactly. well, look at this. Next one up, we've got, we've got Rake. We're talking about Tan Lou more to get off, but we have been a little bit early on when we get from one ride to the next. And next up, we have got Rake, which is a family wheel rake. Oh 
honestly, guys, this land is impeccable. You go around here, and it's just these little touches. I mean, I don't think you saw it, but over there, it has like this little uh, dust yeah. bag, you know, all yeah. the dust on the front. I mean, it's it's so, really yeah, very sad, right? it? These little details I got over here is what makes it sound. Look at the dragon, it's like that. And I want to film this for you guys. Some of you who's like, what's the point of filming it? I've had so much to it, and walking around it, it really is a land. We're only going to have the head of for. You go around it, it's like different lanes, like we're at the bottom of that really round coaster, or we're at the top of here. Look at all the bridges, like, look at that. Yeah, there's like a huge just waterfall coming down here as well. Yeah, I, I hate it absolutely bonkers on the other water look at that today, but. It's those sort of details that make it what it is. I'm going around here. I've had a whole day looking at the details. Still been see everything. I mean, look at that. 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 Just like that. Just like that. They need it. Eh? It's like a random bit. I mean, Karen's going to vomit. I know. <laughs> little scene area. All the little, little dust down here. It's just every little and detail here. Listen, like, it's not only the area as well. Like, but two amazing coasters. I mean, you know, Rake as well. Even though there's no tower. You know, Rake is still really. Roof. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just incredible. But you know, Rake's still a really, really good coast. Oh yeah, right. I mean, it may not be sort of, the, I would, I would say the best for kind of boomerang, but you know, it's still really, really good fun. It's definitely one of the best ones I've done. And this all the theming, the queue as well. Oh Literally, it looks so far. So, hello, hello. Yeah. Alles gut? Yeah, How's good. How's your mother? How are you? Abonniert! This guy. Abonniert! Oh, great people over here. If you ever see us on our path, make sure to say hello to me because we'd love to say hello to you guys and of course, talk about the channel itself. Oh. But <laughs> make your way now down past that land. We'll use back at better than half a walkthrough we got back at home. Yeah. Over towards the next, yes. This is Chaffas. Chaffas, the was about. Chaffas, the was about. One of our favourite, we're the tip of the track is over here. Oh, oh, look at this. The soundtrack. It just continues everywhere you go. Love the next video. It's also one of your favourite theming, like all the hotels, all the Disney, all that. This theme is incredible, isn't oh it? Oh my god, it's insane. So I've just seen the view up here. Wow, honestly. I know quick time And the soundtrack, it just gets you excited. Oh, it's like, I said all fair, like this. The Steve oh, is cool. Amazing, feeling? amazing, yeah. Isn't it? And like, you go around here, every little detail, every single touch, the layers again. Oh, you feel like it's just one land, but it's going to continue as you walk around. And I don't know what we filmed off like this, but I'm generally so shocked to work. It's amazing. I just, every little detail, I always walk, always feel it up. I definitely am shocked. It's insane. This is also meant to be one of the best dog foods in the entire world, but it's the best. Look at that drop there, oh! It's I think that's the steepest drop in any log room in the world as well. Yeah. Now anyway, because yeah. I think one's up in America, but... No, um, I know, it's so like... Oh, it's, it's just... I don't want to stop the camera rolling, it's so awesome! <laughs> I feel for you guys. I've just got a massive shocked face. How this place is still blowing me away. You've gone from going on to a really nice theme park in Germany to going, it's one of the best theme parks in Europe, to going, it's one of the best theme parks in the world. I can see and what people are saying. I've got to be honest. I generally like, think wow. this easily matches Universal. Yeah, so easy match set. I think it does, It's not yeah. better. It won't be Disney, definitely Disney, Disney, because Disney's the magic. Disney's just But the magic. it's got the feel of Disney. With a ride of like Disney, this is that magic. It just doesn't have the magic. Yeah. It's got, but nothing is. But in, in our opinion, nothing is going to have it. So, this is probably the closest you're ever going to get to a Disney park for us. And then I've got this off. And then I've got I love it. I've got this. It's all in front of me. But everything's part of me. There's that little part of there that leads around the lot of food. I love that. The music, the atmosphere, every little corner. It just blows you away. I'm trying to find those motors fly. But, oh, see through my mouth, I'm getting hungry now. I oh, know. But how yeah. was it? Honestly, chaff was it was at that night. Wow. Like, I knew it was going to be a great look for me anyway, but seriously, it's one of the best rock foods in the entire world. Like, I think it's just behind Splash Mountain, 
Of course, there's Disney on Disneyland, but you know what? It's so yeah. good. But yeah, you know what? It's so good. And it's one of the best uh, water rides in the world, to be It's just amazing. The soundtracks as well. I've been to seven soundtracks. Um, it's just incredible. The full experience of that. And the smells, sorry. I'm to see it on the camera. Yeah. And the smells on here are just incredible. It really feels like you're like in Mexican area. Yeah, exactly. Like, the views yeah. Like, let's just look at that. Like, Mr. Sea Mark. And even this land here is one of the worst parts of this place. Still is incredible. It, the lovely atmosphere. It's got me a lot for that vibe. Yeah, it's chilled actually. Yeah, like it's all there. We're sitting all grandparents. We got my little eyes. Just yeah, nice chilled out. Yeah. Other people want to rise, and there's a ride for everyone here as well. Yeah, exactly. Even if you want to do a fair, and the fair is really cool. I see you know you can get noise pretty there, but also I'm saying it's got like the water goes with the fair as well. Now you don't want to have a thing that's worth to come up. Over here it goes with it. The atmosphere, the water, worth it. Oh, honestly, love this park. It's absolutely incredible. Even then, I look so nice. It has this lovely vibe for water. It really is a lovely part of it. It's like relaxing. Because the King's Island vibes over here. Like the, it does, yeah. And it, it brings back different memories from different parks. It's part of it's yeah. a combination of everything. Like, I know, and it's just it so really much. Yeah, we've really got a day here today, unfortunately, but we're there at minimum you need two days. One to do a ride, one is a fever. Look at me, like, I'm angry. I mean, I'm just a waste figure. It's amazing. It's actually talking, you're down here. And right now, we're going to film because we're now going to enter into a land, which no one really knows where it is. However, I know it's it, well, you know it, it's one of the best few lands on the planet. It's one of the most amazing yeah. places, one of those fucking places again. I've been back in 2020, so, so exactly. three years ago. I think and it's so hidden, so like Dark or Nally at Universal, not Universal, Universal Orlando, you kind of have no idea where it is. No, you're not going to know basically until you look at art. Yeah, it's like, well, it's typical Main Street with a little twist. Yeah. Right here, and there's only so little food for us. Oh, little cut off, and that's where you have to go down. But this is meant to be the best area in Germany, in Europe, and one of the best in the world. Like, yeah. Turns out the galaxy dead, right? So we've got pretty high expectations for this one. And oh, so far, yeah. I feel like. Taron was what I expected, the land of Taron, but everything else to me is exceeded. Yeah. In the sense of Taron, I was expecting way more, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> but we were expecting a lot from Taron, yeah. and in my opinion, I think I reckon, in my opinion, it exceeded. So this little, this, this, I know it's there, I know it's there. No this little no. entrance, you head to the Like even that, like, how cool is that? <laughs> just little stuff, but yeah, little entrance. You, yeah, you walk through here, past a few little bags, past the doors, and when you come out and hold the rest of the I'm going to carry the actions over here. Oh, so funny. So, I mean, again, I don't get most of it's not Disney. I will get most of Disney. However, I'm going to be blown away. No, I'm ready. You walk through here, you come down these little turns, little alleyways, and then you come out into this room, but I just the build up the actors, you look out and you just see this land around here. Like, it's every just, time it's a Every time. Look at all these bright around the chat. Well. The top like, oh, oh there you go. That's all right. You can go there very shortly. Half an hour cube for well this piece, yes, it is now time to go and challenge the air. Also like the hotel room is around the top of here, so you can stay here, however. Oh look at this, incredible. Wow. I don't want to end the camera, but I'm gonna have to do that. So we don't have to fly. Oh we're in the it does. It must be the best flight goes to the entire world, so and it also it does the only new gen for Coma flying goes. So but any of you you might have these out there. Yeah, so well, I'll just get myself over the goss back there. We're going to head into one of the coolest heads. I mean, look at this, it's like, there's always that. We're going to head on to Fly. Wow, what a view. And also, what a queue line. Wow. If you don't know, the floor even like rattles like you're in. And oh my, oh my god, this is just awesome, guys. Get yourself down here, experience this. Oh, I'm already having fun. I'm not even on the ride itself yet. It was more of a queue line. I look at this and It's a very long queue line, though. It is a very long queue line, but. I would have waited a long time because it's well themed!
few boys on this planet, but we're going on. I'm going straight around for another go. The fast waiting, probably about an hour, I'll say. Hour and a half. Hour and a half, half, yeah. half yeah. Yeah, I reckon. But it's like going for fun, though. It was still amazing and a phenomenal attraction. Yeah, the time. theming starts is <laughs> to add it to it. Get on the ride itself, you actually put your bags and cameras away, so you couldn't even build the dispatch. So yeah. cleverly done, mechanism wise. It's amazing. But fear starts. Well, I really like start well. Yeah. You never realise it because everyone obviously feels the main part, but you never realise the start. Like, you can't actually view it. Don't expect too much, though. obviously, but it's like a nice little yeah. start to ride. It's, it's a nice little treat, and one of the best I've described to Tom actually because after watching like people rephrasing it and stuff, what I was explaining to Tom is basically it's like a dog, it's not only a coaster. That's what yeah. I'm going to say, I'm not going to ruin it but it's not an eco stuff. It's very cool, but the airtime on there was amazing. My opinion, I do still prefer Taron. I do over Taron, personally. However, you know what, it was incredible. Probably the best five minutes I've done between that and Tatsu. That had the full pack. It had the full pack, the theme, soundtrack, everything. Yeah, it, just, it was it so, so good. I'm so happy with this park, and it's nice for everyone as well. We didn't actually this last time. Yeah. So, we're going to go around and look at it, we're to eat, I think we're going to go up here. We're going to go to those food bars to earn it, we just smell to it, like, oh, that sounds good. So, make it up. Yeah, go get them to eat now. Of course, cool, so you guys can give a view. Apparently, the food is very good. Yeah, no, apparently, it's really good quality. I know here, um, something which I quite like, well, I know a lot of people quite like actually, is that they do actually sell like salads here and everything, so you don't have to just have yeah, the casual deep well. food. Yeah. So, we're going around that now, looking at all the places. Of course, it's down Berlin, it has all the nice food establishments. Oh, and also, that one up there, probably head off as well. So, we're going around. Go down to eat, feel for you guys, and then continue our day, our amazing day, over here at Fantasia Lads. You can't go to Germany without a bratwurst. And they got some pizza, I got a bratwurst and a roll, and it wasn't too bad price either. It's reasonably good price actually. I believe um, just three pizzas came to around 17 euros, I think, something like that. Yeah, and this came to around four bad. euros, so not bad at all. Yeah. Looks and delicious. Really quality as well. And I know, I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to eat it both yeah. warm. <laughs> we'll give you a little review once we get off. So We've got good. a view right over there of of Jibas, Chapas, and over there, our next ride, we're here to after this, Black Bamba. That was amazing. Of course, you'd expect it to be amazing. However, yeah, theme parks, yeah. you always did really nice. I don't think it gives them the bad. Usually, I'm quite a shuffle theme park for me. I don't really like it quite a lot. However, it was even better than I expected. The food was delicious. Great price as well. And overall, compared to where we went last time, not in Japan, where food prices were like actually extortionate, it was like, it was like even for us, like, we don't mind a little bit more around about enjoying the day. But even for us, it was a crazy amount. I didn't have a queue on right now for the next ride. But even for us, it was like, whoa, that is a lot. Why now, right? We did our day from one to the next. Do you think Oh, you know, it's so good. And the quality was really, really good, actually. Also, I did actually have a bit towards Bratwurst as well. So, did you that? Yeah, it was really good, actually. That was actually my first ever one here. But they wanted Germany. How cool is that? I know, it's pretty cool, but yeah. <laughs> but while we're here, we're now making our way over towards the Africa area. And again, all of this is our first time action. The little seats are there. The little drawing, they've been around it. It's just so amazing. And actually, yeah, here we go. Our first ride. That number, 20 minute long queue. One Again, there's no surprise. I mean, at the start, we were like, oh, get around it, and now we're kind of just used to it. This queue line is amazing. Once again, a mercy of a theme. You can't have a queue on that these stairs. I mean, I hope it was disabled queues because, yeah, that's got, the and I was like, it does have a lot of stairs. Could it, of course, it is so locked in a small space. To make stuff work, they have to make it go down and up they and up do. around. Yeah, like multi level. Right? Yeah, and they're really good doing that, I've got to admit. It's so, so amazing oh, how they do do it. Like. I know, amazing how they do do it, but you be aware there is a lot of stairs around the park. So if you are having a lot of disability like that, be aware there will be a lot of up and down. <laughs> even outside the queue line. Yeah. Oh, hey, even outside yeah. there. Yeah. Um, there's even outside of the queue lines as well, there are some quite a lot of stairs. So when you're walking around, just make sure to, yeah. But, was, but there probably are some. Awesome. Yeah, but there will be ways they always do. Parts of them, but even my law now, really. So don't worry too much, I just want to make it aware when we walk around. But I love how this floor like, changes, like, kind of, it feels like you oh, are. Again, amazing, it's no surprise, but seriously, get yourself down here. It is incredible. Now it's time, though, to go on to Black Mamba over here. The at nemesis, Fantastic. but not nemesis. I love the elephants as well. Black 
Mamba has now been completed and as so we make our way through the trail of Africa, I think it's called. Basically, I haven't told any of you guys what this is. Um, this is actually only open, I think 2022 at the moment. I'm not going to reveal anything right now, but it's a really cool thing anyway. So we're going to go through it, but we'll draw a ride. That was a really good one. Like, very smooth. It is also, you just get the front right, which obviously on the inverse where you go going to train the easiest advantage, you really get to see a lot more, so we thought we'll go for the front ride. Um, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I thought it was a really fun ride. I do feel the Nemesis, I think. I think yeah, well, the better in we've done. We've done quite a lot. I feel the Nemesis. It's not as thrilling. I think we've always wanted to actually. I don't remember thrilling American Elf Frizz. If you can't really expect it to feel right, I was going to go over past all that. Yeah, all of that. Oh, yeah, you can then go. It's been a great it. day. I don't think we're going to go over I mean, mum does all of them. Mum does do these massive rides. So you can get most of the family on these rides, but no one reads the point. If you are a thrill seeker, yeah. you have a great time. Yeah. If you are younger, and I imagine what this is going to be like, you're also going to have a great time. Yeah. And no matter who you are, there's great food, great it atmosphere, really and all around amazing. amazing. It's great part. And as we now pass, actually, well, there's a good pass, the food place out there. There's also a variety of food as well. Yeah, there is. It's just crazy. You know, the variety of food here is amazing. And, you know, it's just got so much for everyone, that's the thing, because they've got a lot of African special food here. Yeah. They've got a lot of different areas. Have different sort of kinds of food in the way, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, and always immersive as a theme, everything around here. I wish I could just keep the camera rolling the entire day, but unfortunately, you can't. We will feel going in here. Um, there's a bit of a wait currently, so we're going to end the camera here. I catch up with you. We head on our next adventure where we will continue our review yeah. of Project X Y over on the hiking map deep into Africa. And here we now go through the curtains and into Africa. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I know, I was actually saying this could Ooh. be the best thing in the whole park. Yeah. Oh, you know us, Adam. You know us. We absolutely love the whole adventure. So I've probably broke bridges and stuff. Oh, my God. A little. Uh, oh. oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> under the line. And of course, the closest comes around. Incredible interaction. It's better as well, from what I know anyway. But yeah, it's really cool. It gets to give you some black mamba. Yeah, so build my black mamba because I feel like we just kind of saw a little bit over there. Yeah. That ride is definitely the most, I say thrilling ride over here at the park. If you want to get the I most thrills, you go on there. However, it is not like your normal coaster. We've we've been on one of my favourite BM is still Afterburn over at, no, not Afterburn, Fly Something <laughs> over at Cowboys. Right. Oh, oh yeah, the off oh, so, 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 the steps are here. Yeah, in the car with. But one thing that has a unique oh, is how smooth it is. You know, it's all the other Yeah, it is a very, very smooth ride. So if you're going to look into doing it and you want to do one of them without batting your head on the side, they commonly do, make sure to head on to that one over there because yeah. that is a very good ride. Look at the support. Oh, yeah. no, it's great. And that, is, that, that is the theme on the support. support. So, right. Cool. Well, what are you doing over here? It's just so cool. And you're right, this is also here you go. Oh, wait, is it working? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. And again, the theme is just uh, impeccable. I mean, you only see this when you're on the ride of here, and that is more fever than at any part of that hunt. It's unreal around here, and it is so, so much fun. So I'm going to go around here, keep the camera rolling for you guys, and so cool. continue our way around this really awesome trail. I mean, these are the sort of touches that I was at Disney have. Exactly. Apart from the rides, you know, I always say that, to make a great thing about the experience, you have to have stuff apart from the yeah. rides. Of course, you have to have some good quality rides. Right? So good. But you have to have some good quality rides. Right? Who says we have to have the extra experience? Yeah, if someone here is a busy day, you can just say, this is a busy day, you come here today, that's what this takes off us. Exactly, and it's that's really nice. And that's exactly what this is awesome for, so continue to start with this. It's amazing, the whole place is amazing, and I really wish it another day to be able to explore everything else that it has to offer. Yeah, so you may get a little wet up on this trail, and of course we can't bring a camera across because it isn't waterproof. However, we will be running it across, and if you are a little bit, well, not too much wanting to get wet, you can always head down that river there. We're going now down here for this adventure. She won't make it, she won't make it across. Oh, she's gonna do it, okay, she's gonna do it. Oh, there's gonna go, she's gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go, gonna go. If you fall in. <laughs> oh, 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 she's done it. Oh, look at this, you're a fool down here, but. It is also very, very cool. But this is literally like an adventure course. It's so cool. Oh, love this. This is amazing. Hey, here we go. I'm here. Look at the animal there. Come on. Don't just sit around here, mate. Oh, what was this? <laughs> oh, God. Let's go around. Let's go around. You okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Gonna go around. It's getting a bit harder now. I mean, 
Alligators in the water, you're not going to pull them there. Oh, and it's slippery as well, so we're going to hold on carefully here. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, now nah, this is going to be hard. Go on off here. Let's go through carefully here. Oh, it's this. Yeah, this one's not easy, I'll show you in a sec. Go on. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not a boost early about me if you don't want to be in a wheelchair, this is why. So it's time. Yeah, go on. Here you go. Oh. He's gonna fall in. He's gonna fall in. Oh, oh. 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 Ah. God, he's a wobbly either. Oh, God. I, I jammed down with a foot. Oh. Okay. Oh. God. This is not easy. This is, I am, I'm losing five. I get to be able to hear without falling in. Oh god, okay, here you go, here you go, you're making your way down, you're going down. Oh, that's dad there, hello. Hello. Well, take the easy route round us. We're adventurers over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're in the end, quite quickly. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh. Yeah, doing that, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. Hey, there you go, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it and we've done it. Oh, that was awesome, that's so cool. That's the most chance to get across. We'll put all your balls in. Next up, we've got this little bit up here. We can say we'll be younger ones, but of course, we're young and hot, so we're going to go in here right away. <laughs> okay, left, I was right. It's a little bit tight on here, however, it is pretty intense drops. Oh! oh. Oh, we're going to find out when we come out in a sec. I have no clue where this leads to, no. but I know there's a really cool slide at the end. So, it's worth it for the slide. Yeah, fuck it, <laughs> Wow, my custom home is starting to kick it in. <laughs> it's a little bit tight. It's so good. Oh, it's fun though. You've got to do it. Yeah, that's the thing, mate. You've come so far, you've just got to enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Even if it is, well, this small. Look at that fall down there. I mean, it's just like, it's the kids' zone. I mean, it's a giant fall. Please, don't want to fall down here. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I might put the camera away, but. God, it's like mega intense. I'm just holding on to the net at the top for dear life. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. Yeah, making our way down here, and that is where we were. <laughs> oh, let's go down here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and on camera. Quickly, you know, our way around Africa. Through a few. Oh! They're heavy as well. Oh, they're heavy, are they? Yeah, they're heavy. They're heavy on my size. Oh! There's them all, that one again. Oh, where are we going now? Oh, hello! I didn't know where Dad's going. We're going to go exploring too up here. Let's go. Oh, it's like a little. Honestly, it's amazing, guys. Get it down here. Sat all the rides over here by Tarzan, lads. You've got a massive play area. Oh, it's getting tighter again, of course. Why not get you crawling? Oh god, I know, it's, I'm not normally someone who does these sort of things. But there's slides. This slide is so cool. It's like basically where you find it like a shopping like till, basically. Yeah, it's like a shopping till. <laughs> yes, it is live. Jeez, uh, okay. You can have first, Adam. Here first. And we'll take you along down the shopping till, as you call it. <laughs> there you go, Danny. Oh, this is looking fun. Okay, well, we're gonna come down now. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey, look at that! Ah, my pup! Ah. Oh, it's so weird. It's so oh. weird. <laughs> oh. oh. That's a bit different. And it looks like there may be some more stuff down here soon as well. Of course there is. More coming things. That's a bit different. That is awesome. Yeah. Good point. Such good fun. It's the things like that that makes parks what they are. Honestly. That's the kind of parts of the home to really learn about. Yeah. Of course, the park for these fun activities, like I say, is fair, something like Denmark, yeah. where you've literally got the natural wildlife to go it's around. Amazing. However, Great park. at parks like this, where you don't get the natural activities, yeah, they have to create them. And that's why you really well here in exactly. Disney. But parts of home, I mean, it's not expensive to make, and it'd be one of the two additions. However, there are people there who are not only not lining up in queue line, making the queue line shorter, yeah. and basically have more day just doing the simplest things. I mean, these players like that, just, just, uh, it's no brainer, it just really. as much as well as we're going on rides. We, we yeah. enjoy the rides. We enjoy the rides, exactly, yeah. So, we love, of course, we love our rides, yeah, exactly. and we love getting shots like this, rides going around, too. But being able to, being able to explore and things, it's actually really good. Yeah, it's, 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 it's,
That is one of the coolest. Lots of water on the forest, Gibby. A lot of water. Is that even here? No, it's terrible. It's a lot of water. Oh, we see no. massive pictures of it. I think it's been closed today. Yeah. I, I can't be. I can't be. I swear. I swear that's a lot bigger than those pictures I've seen. It looks a lot smaller. It fits in and it works really well, of course. But I thought it was a lot bigger than pictures. Next up, we've got a random monitor up there. We can see the front car. Colorado Adventure. I'm on the way we are going to the toilet because we are in for that moment. But yeah, that's cool. Not gutted I didn't get to go on that to be honest. It's the same right now as And yeah. I don't want to do it on over there. I dropped out in there. I do really don't want to do that. Taran again. And of course Taran again. So they go around, but still so much more than done yet. There is, that's it. We, we've got enough time. I feel like a day is pretty much perfect for the rides. For the rides. Yeah. And that's one of our biggest things, I think. I mean, obviously, we'll wrap up at the end, but we're going to day for the rides and extra little experiences. Um, if you want to go proper in depth, watch some shows. Oh, I want to look at all this, yeah. Wow, well, no, it's incredible. But if you want to go in depth, watch some shows, uh, stuff like that, I feel like you need to do this. Yeah. So. I mean, look at this. I love how it's hard. I don't really know where we're going. I don't really know where we're going. I don't really know where we're going. I don't 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 know where we're
happy for us. Just a tad wet. <laughs> we sat on it. Yeah, and I thought I'd be like, why is it? Well, I've seen that famous drop. The older you see it, really steep one. I knew that was a lift. But nothing could pay you for how many drops. If you didn't get wet, like you are lucky. It's drops, I think. But yeah. it's like, it's, it's, it's not like... It's Most so rapids are like small. one big one where you get lucky at wet. Yeah. You're, These are all big. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're all big, they're all intense, the water comes out of the middle, it's just a full on soak it in. Amazing ride at the same time. The lift is a really cool feature. I'd say it adds to the experience. It does, I'd say it does. Also, the whirlpool at the top yeah, is really well, cool. Well, it's also, it's very unique as well. There's lots of variety, which is a typical drop, which is like a one at the end, which is really steep. But you have a whirlpool, but you have another drop, and you also have one at the beginning where there's two lifts at the start, yeah. and you kind of like bash into the side as you go it's down. It's yeah. really odd. So, really awesome ride there. It's so much better than our uh, home park. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with the river splash. We'll suggest doing it either at the end of the day when you're going to the car there, though, because you don't want to be wet all day, exactly. or. Do it on a summer day. That'd be a really good summer day attraction. This is what I just want to be pointed out. Just before we went on, you actually said that yeah. it went up there. Um, it did. Yeah, that's actually rape. Goes up there. Yeah, that's rape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the right ride. Just pointed that out, but yeah. Guys, it's really good ride, and it's definitely a must see at the pub. But I always think, you know what? It's a water ride. You, the okay. whole point is to get wet. <laughs> okay, of course, the other thing about this guy here, he wouldn't have been out, would he? Oh, this, yeah, oh. We don't really awesome. know what this is, no. to be honest. We think it's a drop tower. Yeah, we think it's a 200 foot drop tower. That's all we think we know. I think you're right. I hope you're right. I think so. I don't really know what's inside there. It could just be a walkthrough, I don't know. Yeah, or maybe two walkthroughs. I don't know if there's some axes in here. Yeah, yeah, it's got uh, Oh, yeah, let's go through it. It's a bit uh, dark now. Oh, we had the mystery for holes up. Here's the queue at the start, but yeah. I don't know how long it's going to take. Look forward to it, right? It's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. We have just tried to get a thumbnail photo after having a little drop on the drop tower, which is pretty intense. But yeah, quick a thumbnail photo for that. It is hard to get one. I thought it was gonna be easy, it's not yeah. even But the problem is it's almost too much for you. That's remember? the thing, it's really really hard because there's not like such of a statue or something yeah. like Hello. Hello. If you know what I mean, yeah, just no, there no, 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 in front. Like, um, so yeah, like yeah, just, with with the past time like, Park, you have like one icon of a ride, a like sign or Wicked Man yeah. or Tyke Ross and like that. With over here, the entire ride is the icon of a ride. So when you're walking around, it's really hard to in fact get something to yeah, kick, which yeah. Because like, you get one or some turn and it's gone. You can see like, a little bit of female blocking your way. I, like, I think it's the weather today as well, because yeah. I mean, I haven't really got many good photos today either. So, yeah. it's very the weather. But as you said, it's just so well themed. It's so hard to get a photo. So, um, now, of course, nothing to do next visit, but yeah. we want to focus more rides today. Like the drop tower, and it's what we're going to do right now. Yeah. Okay, dude, the drop tower, how do you find it? It was good, you know, it was... Yeah. I think it was the tallest drop tower in the time. I think it's about 200 feet, no, I, think. I know. Um, it's really cool, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's like 200 feet, so it was a good drop tower. But also, you did shoot up, which is pretty cool, like a short tower in a way, so... Yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that was a nice little feature of the ride itself, and I think it, it was a really good fight. The problem is, it wasn't really had a sequence to it, it kind of, but like, oh, ending exactly. at one point, it's like, yeah. the guy in the control, so the control, he just decided what he wanted to, but if it actually had a proper sequence, the speed that you shot was unreal and it was a really really good fun ride. We did it up now. I thought this might be a new ride. Is there a new ride? Uh, no, I don't think it's too new actually. I don't know. Maybe new, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. It seems quite new. Yeah. It, it does. It seems like you get a good view on the other view down here from the windows. But yeah, it has a kind of vibe this new, but I love the whole merciless of this park. It really is amazing. We're trying to go around here. Yeah, look at this. I mean, how crazy as a feeling for the smell as well, like, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like, but the smell really is awesome. So, mum and dad are not a little spiny, so I saw a pillar of just before I left, so I know kind of what it's like. Oh, flat. But, yeah, it's having really good fun. Don't really wait, no, in this queue for it, that's pretty long. Oh, yeah. But again, that's awesome. it. And uh, from what we know, it's basically like Toy Story Mania at the Disney box. Yeah. Uh, we think it's very similar to that, but a German version with like, just basically you're shooting mighty chocolate, basically. Yeah, so pretty okay. really cool. Okay, it looks really good fun. Make it around and head on to it. Yum, it looks delicious. Oh, my hungriness has now gone. However, my competitiveness sure hasn't, as that ride is really, really exciting. Going around on the seas, 
It's actually got a lot more feeling than Vice like Toy Story Mania does. I don't know if it's any Disney ride, but it has a mix of screens, which we also love. We love being able to do that 3D element, but also feeling. You go around, you do like different rooms and stuff. It really is a really good ride. Smell senses too. As you can really guess, smells like on a chocolate ride is even better. So, really thoroughly enjoyed that. Get in there. Some right. rides here, very small entrances. They are. Well, yeah. according to a ride they actually are. You don't realise it by first sight, but when you actually go inside, it gets a lot better. So, so what we normally yeah. say leave something to surprise here, make sure not to. Get over here and make sure to get everything in your brain before you go going over because some things will just come out of surprise to some people, but for many, they might miss out even to a point of stuff like Rookberg is hidden behind the walls. Exactly. Uh, I think it's unlikely. But you may. You may, yeah. It's a possibility because a lot of people sort of walk past it and not really take much notice and you'd miss it again. So. Well, especially such things as well as the chocolate didn't move, which is not as big as Rootberg. You are likely to miss that when going to visit it. But something that you definitely would enjoy if you did do it at the same time. Especially with a curious shorts, we've got to literally walk on as well. So, thumbs up for me from that. We're now making our way around the store itself. Adam's having a little bit of investigating because there's another dragon. There's a dragon there. There's a, there's a dragon there. Dragons down there. And they're all different. He's wondering where they're part of mascot. The reason why I think they're this. So, as you can see, there's different like, things on different letters. And I think they relate to the different lands or something. Lands or something. I don't know. But... Yeah. Because we've got the dragons on here and stuff. I don't know. It's really, it's it's really common. Yeah, there's not a lot of merchandise here. It's like really weird. Like, the size of parking. It is. There's not yeah. a lot of merchandise. But what I think is though, is a lot of food. And yeah, really as well, well. even now, if people queue up for hours around to go and get food, because at our parts, because the food is like ridiculous, I mean, like, you're going to get a sausage sandwich for like, I don't know, 10 quid, whereas here, it's 4 euros, because that's like £3.50 exactly. to get one. And even the tellies, like here, how much is he? So it's like reasonably priced, like that's 16 euros 50. Yeah, which is, you can't, you can't even have a card. You'd be like, I'd like, easily be £30 for that card. Exactly. And it's easily. Well. Like, it's quite exactly. Nice. So, but what it does show is that people are still, even down there, the cafe, and one of the reasons, people are still going around to get loads of food. Even for a tea or for a lunch, because it is affordable pricing, which is really, really awesome. We're now making our way now, down the shop, looking at a little bit more. I will put some clips in to, for you guys, in before or after. We've got some... Chocolate bread basket. We've, got, we've, we've also got a bread basket. <laughs> don't know why, but we'll make our way round. We better come back in here to get a few it's final purchases. However, yeah. with the merchandise, especially with a talent t-shirt, which I think is just down here, right? It's been it's been it? like six years. I know, I wearing it for like six years ago. Like, it's seven years now. Yeah. It's open, it's been crazy. Like, they need to sort of like, I don't know, um, like, they've nailed the food. I just think they need to up, like, they game Yeah. On. So merchandise, well, but that's the thing. Well, maybe I hear it's not the same as back home. Exactly, that's it. It could be a cultural thing. A lot of stuff are, to be fair. Like, in terms of the food quality, I know this culture in Germany is so much better than the UK. So. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, it's like, it's play, places like in Belgium, it's been a door over this way, places like in Belgium, all of the, uh, like, merchandise is so expensive, I don't know that, yeah. it's always been in there, and it's crazy. It's like, maybe yeah. that's because they don't sell so much, they make it for, like, the people who visit, I don't know. Yeah, it's really weird. But it is really, really weird, but at the same time, really, really nice, and we have got good quality food over here at the park. The sun's going by right now, though, and we're now making our way over to our final attraction, the final land of the day. And my dad might possibly remember this because he came here. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> you know, I was going to get here for a long time ago. Oh so, yeah, awesome. The people here are actually really nice. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, they're not so like friendly yeah. people, but over yeah, here, they're all having a good time, they're all having fun, and that's what we love here at theme parks. Good old fashioned fun. We are now making our way down over towards our next attraction, though, which is going to be a look at another two. We're I think we should do winches. I don't know that. And basically, this is we just for and force, and apparently, they've got a half an hour queue each. Of course, if it's going to be half an hour, and eight Taron's on like 15 of them right now, so we're sort of missing. And we are a little bit short on time, early. A day is enough, but just enough. Yeah, that's the thing, because it needs to not must use for us, but to be fair, we would quite like to get on two spinning coasters, but yeah. we'd rather prioritise the second one in Taron and fly. And some of that then obviously two looks pretty but exactly. they're quite good actually they look quite good fun and we're just going to look at it quickly because i can't imagine they are half an hour each to be no. totally honest um but they could be and also there's one more coast around there but it may be shut now because we didn't want to but i think it shuts a bit early so there's one more down there but i yeah. think we're too late now, oh that crazy bats yeah oh yeah oh, we look, there's so much here to do I know it is a day, but a day is like you're going to miss out on stuff. Fact. I think we, we're quite good at it. I don't know if you fun with you, but we don't quite want to stick it if I start. I think you sort of need a day and a half, but you can do a day. Like, our opinion sort of changed a little bit now, I think. You sort of need a day and a half, but you know, another great area. 
Barrett. This one, I oh, know. It's, it's crazy. I think Richard Barrett doesn't want to watch one, isn't it? I don't know. I do too. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, we don't really want to look at it. Um, it's hard to do. Look, it's done it. We're just here for it. It's done it. Because that is like one intense drop for one intense coaster. Two to down now. Two to down. Yeah, oh, here he goes. Go down now. Oh, no, no. Ah, okay, we're going anyway. We'll see you in a sec. And we are going here, yes. I think it's better, we're not sure. From reading online, we think fear is better. It's definitely one, which is better than the other one. Well, only time we set out to get over here on the next ride. Whoa, we have just taken a spin on fear, I'm going to say. I think it's, yeah, winter's fear we took a spin on. So. Yeah, and it's good. it was crazy, don't go wrong. We had to look at a lot of about spin coasts. They're always unique, and every time you ride them, there's something different going on. However, that ride is different than any other spin coaster. Oh, it is, definitely. It, it, it's not like different in terms of thrills or intensity, or... Yeah. It's, well, it's quite intense, especially you go fear. I'm but was fine. But uh, yeah. it's intense in so different ways. It starts it's got a lift, and that's one of the... Uh, heads up, don't hear if you don't want to get spoiled. For starters, to save space. Yeah, the, the lift kind of tilts as you go up. Yeah. Then you get dropped down the first drop. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, YouTuber. Yes. Yeah. Hello. You had a good day? Thank you. Good day, good day. awesome. Good. Goodbye. Well, we really got the view over here, Fantasia Land. Always they, great. They're definitely a lot more like. Hello, even hey, over here in the UK. Because we love it, and we always do love saying hello to you girls. So can't trust if you do see us. I just said earlier, but we did quite a few people over here. We have, yeah. There's been quite a few people who have just sort of gone. Oh, have you got a channel? And of course, if you're interested, ever come up to us to say because we love talking to you guys about your day, how it's been, and of course, we want to get on camera too. We can get your camera, and if not, we'll happy as well not to get you the camera at the exact same time. But however, we're now making our way over towards our final attraction after doing yeah. fit. Oh wait, I haven't finished that, have I? Oh yeah, right. I haven't finished it. Yeah, for that, the lift tour goes up and tilts. Then you go down, straight forward, straight down. Then you go up an air side here. And then actually, you know, the twist and turn, which is kind of the worst part. Before that, you then basically go round and then you go into this other thing and kind of tilts forward yeah, and back so basically forth. Yeah, you went up and then it stopped at like a... It's got a weird track. Degree angle. Uh, it's about a 30 degree angle. <laughs> and then you sort of stop there and then you sort of turn like that. Yeah, back you, with the other thing. You, 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 like a marble one. If you got a marble yeah. one, then you go off and you go, go and then the weirdest one was at the end. This was really weird. And I couldn't figure out what how they. I think it was like a track, a drop, a bounce. Was, no, this is the thing, right? It felt like it was like a little bounce, but it, the ride was constant, like consistently moving. So I don't really know how they did it because literally it was just gradually moving. They just they made up a little bounce. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, we're gonna get final points. This is a really good spot. We'll get that a little bit later on. And one thing you may know is park. It's not like most parts again, where the wires go. The old clock, and it goes a little bit before. They do sit on the app, but it goes to take quarter to. However, we're not 100 percent sure. What time now? Uh, but also, it's quite new anyway. I'm not sure whether they shut it before quarter two or they shut it before. Yeah, Ray, Ray's currently open, so that's a good sign. However, I think it's closer to two. So we're going to make our way over here for our final ride of the day. However, it's been a great day. And I look forward to heading on to our final ride. Here's the thumbnail spot right here. And we're going to get off here, we're going to definitely dip up. But here we go. On to our final ride of the day. Tower. Oh, look at this beast. Incredible. these paths going wow Talon is an amazing ride and the land of course is amazing but that's not the only thing that is amazing the entire place is amazing that's what really shocks me about this visit over towards Fantasia land today not just is a home to many fantastic rides of course lands like that one just down there and there's all the lands getting right there but the pole park is fantastic every little thing right. from the food prices to but uh, maybe not much but everything is so so awesome over here and there's so much more to see I really want to go to a hotel, see what I did. I've not really got a chance yeah. to look at those today. Charles Lindbergh, and of course we've got a hotel in December. We're going to go Charles Lindbergh. Oh, yeah. I'm going to look at that back of the field now. That, that is like crazy how much it fit in. But it's so fun we didn't do. We did the basic rides that we wanted to get on today. And that's about it. It's so much yeah, more over here apart. To experience, to enjoy. 
I just walk around getting those photos. Yeah. We didn't yeah. even have a chance to take in these lands today because we were so busy on one the next, one the next, getting on these iconic rides. Yeah, exactly. It's something. We didn't really get a chance to say hello to everything and look at all that it has to offer. But it has been an amazing day. It has been a fantastic memories. We've had so many great times over here. And now, picking up our mats for our final time before going, and Scott, let's just say a fair few. It is now time we leave this park very sadly for our last time on this trip and review it. Oh, so you know what? It? It's been amazing. I mean, as I said at the start of the vlog, after years and years and years of wanting to come to this place. I mean, I say everything's going to come out back in 2016. I've wanted to come to this place and to finally be standing here. So we've just had an amazing day here at Fantasia. It's incredible to be honest. You know, this park is amazing. Like, it's all the theming. You know, each individual themed area is just incredible. And every time you step into a themed area, you just get so immersed in sort of all the theming and you're all the I'm twist on all the attractions it's in. And that leads me to my next point, the attractions. Yes, they were only be family thrill. And I do think town warms up I, there a little bit. I think that was good. Is it the category in between family thrill for I can't. I think Taron's a thrill in the afternoon. I still can't like, clarify, I, I can't put it on as a thrill, because it's not otherwise it could be kind of as a thrill, but it's a level in between just between uh, family thrill and thrill. It's not like Taron, no, it's if, you're, if, you, if you're scared of like, getting up and down and stuff, it still has some of those thrills, like proper thrills, just about the common inversions like that. Yeah, and this is where if you do want a uh, more tame ride, yeah, that's like Oh, yeah. that's just amazing. But I don't know if we did it towards the start of the day, as it does very, very much so warm up towards the end of the day. But you know, also getting off the fly was amazing. And of course, all the other choices here at the park as well, like Mambo was great. Um, and overall, it's just a really nice atmosphere here. And in my opinion, it's one of the best theme bars in the world. To I mean, it's, I, it's incredible. They didn't do it to Disney. Even the toilets here, I think. They're all when like, we just park right there. They are feet. But the newer land toilets. Oh, we didn't even go to toilets. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention that. Did we forget to mention that? Wait, which is Rootburg? This is Rootburg. Yeah, that's, that's right. What, we didn't, we didn't no, go that's in, not, no, sorry. Yeah, but no, I'm right there. I'm right there. Okay. We didn't go into Rootburg's toilets, which is the one we're flying. Yeah? Wait, sorry, I'll try to think about this now. It's hard, it's really hard to I'll try to think about this. Um, oh, that was it, Click On. Did you see it? Yeah. Click On's got Tarrant and Rake, yeah. and Rick Bird's got Fly. Yeah. So, that was it. Clicker, or whatever it is. Click Line. Click Line. <laughs> Their toys are unbelievable. I mean, I mean the sinks are like basins and stuff. It's just yeah, it's a different level. Whereas this land here, because it's obviously an older land, yeah. hasn't got that. But I won't even imagine what Rootburg is like. That's what we're going to find out on the next trip. Because everything here is been and I, I'm honestly blown away by all, and all these hotels here. It really, I mean, always think of theme parks, and I might blow one of them right now. Is that it's all about blending the attractions into one another. There's some places where we might have one attraction that's themed, which is awesome, but they can't put as much as if they had an, a, a roller coaster, a flat ride, a hotel, and all of that is themed together. If they do something like that where they have all of these things themed, it means that they can implement like the hotel here in the background to the restaurant, to the rides, and it creates a much more better atmosphere. And that's what Disney do really well with like lands such as like parts of Caribbean where you've got the ride and you've got a restaurant with it too. Which you're going to experience in a couple of hand days. Hand. Yeah. Have, 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 awesome. This is just in a two days time. Yeah, it's crazy. But they also do here as well stuff like Tarrant and stuff where you've got multiple rides in that area. You've got like a little rapid air blending, it just all works mm. together. So it really is an incredible place. Such a good okay. park. And I'd say in terms of how many days you should spend here, I recommend probably one and a half day, but obviously I'd probably say two now to be honest, because we've sort of changed our opinion over time. Uh, now we've seen the back half of the park as well. Um, you know what, it's definitely a pretty big park in my opinion. Um, it's definitely well worth visiting, of course. Yeah. For a couple of days, is, you need time to get photos and just other things like that. And of course, re-rides as well. As we actually only did one re-ride, so it was just Tarrant. But, you know, amazing park. It's just as good as I thought it was, if better. Yeah. And obviously, Tarrant, wow. Like, just, I love Tarrant, it's yeah. amazing. That's what I thought I'd go. Honest opinion here. Tarrant, the land of that, I'm not going to pronounce because I'm going to mess it up. Quick on. Quick on. Fly, Rookberg were all as I expected. The, uh, the ride thrilling, the awesomeness, everything like that. But I'd really hard, you understand, I had like way higher than I would have for the average theme park. And they were as expected, which rarely happens. Stuff like Velocicoaster at Universal, we both did that, you weren't. Exactly. We, we, were, we were pressing a lot, we were expecting a lot, but yeah. we didn't get fully that. Both times on Taron, just completely yeah. exceeded their expectations. Amazing goes. Absolutely amazing. And then, of course, they were flying, they were exceeded, possibly exceeded, they were not flying. They were really, really awesome. But then, after that, 
We then came over into the other places and the whole park is real done. I mean, even like the older lands, like, of course, the one down the hill with like Chinese area. Yeah, it hasn't got a rise, but it's really good. It really helps blend into the overall place and it really is absolutely fantastic. So, Mum and Dad, did you have a good day in the back of a car? Good day? Yeah, really good day. I haven't been here for 35 years, I think, and it has changed a bit. If you haven't been in that time, it's definitely worth coming. Yeah. Because it has changed a <laughs> fair not, bit. So. Not RF or something. I Thank you. Awesome. So, Adam, um, good luck. Oh, you know what? As I basically said, it's an amazing park. Obviously, I'd 100% recommend coming here. Uh, it was a bucket list place for both of us for ages now, and to finally be here is just incredible. Honestly, this place is amazing, theme is amazing, and every attraction here is just so much family fun. Honestly, it's amazing. It's great. I'm so soaked from that. Yeah, we're still soaked right. So, what I said, <laughs> that is it for me, Tom Derry, Adam Derry, oh. Faye Derry, and Steve Derry. I'm over here at Fantasyland. If you have enjoyed it, we're doing a small three day road trip featuring this park. We're going out towards. Four days. Four days, yeah, yeah. four, three, three days. Tomorrow we're having a big driving day down towards Zan Paris. Where we'll be heading to Luxembourg, some mountain coast sort of thing. It's gonna be really awesome. And then we go to Zan Paris as well as finally going off to Park Asterix for the opening day of Tuesday. Or two tatis. Two tatis. I think so. Yeah, I'm we'll, sure we'll have to look at the out before we go. But yeah, it's been fantastic. Loved it all so much. And we'll see you for the next video. Bye bye.